Looks like we got a delivery from... What could it be? It's an oscilloscope 5000 series hand tech. Now I was gonna buy the Rigol, but I said, what the hell? Let's try some cheap Chinese stuff. The box got a little crushed up here. Let's hope everything is all right. Hand tech. Uh, let's see if they sent me the right one. It's supposed to be 100 megahertz. Rocky. Shh. Packaging looks okay, actually. Got that. It's like three, like four, three or four layers of that. Actually, five layers. Yes, 100 megahertz, one gigabit sample rate. Gigahertz sample rate. Came with a European plug. But this has a standard AC, so I can use one I have. What else we got in the box? Oh, we have an American conversion kit, an actual adapter. Look at that. That's very nice of them. Probe. Probes, USB, and I think this is the adjustment knob thing. Sure, there's some software here. Pretty light. Now this is a seven inch screen, which is bigger than the Rigol I was gonna purchase. A power button here, USB, power button, USB, seven inch display, two channel digital storage, oscilloscope, 100 megahertz, one uh, giga sample. Have all these buttons here. There's your five volt calibration. So I think we're gonna to need to get this plugged in. Oh. Gonna... All right, I'll plug it in, set it up, and we'll come back. Aha, pretty nice, nice big screen here. So the first thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the probes and uh, we're gonna calibrate this thing. So I'm gonna put the probe in. And then there's the uh, test rail here, which is the five volt rail, one kilohertz five volt rail. Sorry, I had to let the dog out. It's gonna just be annoying. Uh, pull back there, so you can hook onto wires or whatnot, or you can take this off and just use it like a regular multimeter probe. Let's put that back on. This is your uh, negative rail or ground. So the ground usually goes to the bottom pin and we'll just hook this into the top. Oh, and we're getting something. Oh, looky looky. Let's do an auto set. See what auto set does. There you go. Actually, it's pretty good. There's our square wave coming in. Measure. Yeah, there we go. So we have a voltage coming in at a peak to peak 5.3. 5.3, maximum voltage is 5.2. Uh, there's our one kilohertz, I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's our square wave, there's our one kilohertz signal coming in, two volts per division, there's our square wave coming in. And then if I want to just, volts per division here. Now let's let's go in a little closer here. The screen's really nice. It's pretty bright. Let's take this down to 80 millisecond. Eight seconds, that's a nice slow. There we go. Looking good so far. 200 milliseconds, 80 milliseconds, 40. 20, 8, 4, 2, 800 nanoseconds, 400. Okay, so let's see what kind of options we have here. We have display. So we have vectors, dots, persistency, let's exit, um, utility, 
So we have system information. This is going to be software version 340, serial number, boot count, upgrade count, LCD fonts, and then we have firmware update. Uh, two to cancel. We have sign waveform. Oh, sorry, save waveform. Sorry, we don't uh, have anything connected. Self calibration. Uh, I actually already ran through this. It takes about five to ten minutes. Uh, cursor. Time voltage track. Acquire. Real time. Normal peak average. I'm just showing you guys some of the some of the uh, settings here. I'm not going to go with too much into detail. And then if we hit the channel menu button, it's going to come out a little bit now. This channel menu button, we can get uh, coupling DC, AC, or ground. 200 megahertz limit, limit is off. Uh, volts, course fine. Probe 10 times. There's the math setting. Let's just turn that off. Some more options here. Window control. If we have, and obviously if we do run stop, it's going to freeze that waveform. And go ahead and look at it in a little more detail. Okay, let's run it. If you push in on the buttons here, it should reset. Our probe might be a little, just a tiny bit off. Let me just auto set this. It might be just a little tiny bit off on the top of the uh, square wave. But so far, so good. I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy with this thing. It's uh, probably going to be more than adequate for what I need. I hope I live. 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 I hope I live again. I hope I live. 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 I hope I live again. So I think that's it for now, guys, until I can uh, set something up where I can test this a little better. But so far, it seems pretty good. Uh, did I? There's some buttons here help and default setup and save to USB. I might adjust the probe a little tiny bit. There's a little hole on top of the, or there's a little hole on the actual probe. And that allows you to just calibrate. I'll show you guys. There's a little piece here. And what you do is you put it in and you turn it, and you'll notice the wave. See the wave? So you want to just straighten it out as much as possible. All right, guys, that's about it. I will, uh, I don't have any immediate use for, the, uh, for this oscilloscope, but I know that um, when I'm fixing things, sometimes it's nice to, to see what's happening uh, in line on the circuit. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. This is just a simple introduction to this Handtech DSO 5102P. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys want me to test anything with it, and I'll see you in the next one.